Player one in OSW was the number one US player, 14 years old. They're fast. Their brains think so fast. I mean, it's twi you know, to Twitch gaming uh, definitely biases towards the the younger folks. TST from Salted Bread. That's an Imperial Cross. Oh, there we go. Oh, he messed it up. Or he just decided not to take the second TSD. Okay, that was an Imperial Cross setup that Salted either decided not to take or accidentally did not take. By the shaking of the head, I think it was an accident, but we'll never know. Mm -hmm. Some things we are not meant to know. Exactly. Please don't sing. Really strong and consistent play on both sides. Salted with a lot of garbage to dig through. RJ with a couple missed drops. That looked somewhat similar to uh, an interesting setup called a King Crimson, but didn't quite have. Oh, and the J missed drop is probably going to cost the round. Finding a little bit of down stack for now, but Salted oh, Bread is, yeah, capitalizes too, on that misdrop from RJ there. Too much. Too much to handle. Both players with C-spin openers here. RJ setting up an SCSD. I think that was a miss hold from Salted Bread, meant to put the O piece over there. Uh, he has a down stack. Yeah, doesn't quite find the down stack in time. Both players kind of jamming out for sure. And we are 1 1. We've seen some sweeping, we've seen some, some backup, but looks like this one's just going to be hard fought neck and neck all the way. La la la, yes. Yes, thank you so much, Harvey. Couldn't have put it any better myself. Salted's gotta get real aggressive about now. Yeah, that is a wild board to work through here. Not going to be able to, I mean, RJ puts the pressure on when uh, Salted is at the top. They're not even giving him the opportunity to work through that down stack. Salted just going for the 6 3 out stack at the start. This isn't TEC. What are you doing? That's a King Crimson. Mm. Yeah, doesn't for, 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 take the STSD, but that was in fact a King Crimson setup. On Salted's side? Uh, that was RJ's side. Oh. Yeah, so there are a couple of. Yeah, okay, that's that's what. There are a couple of setups that re that result in three T-spins, either like T-spin triples or T-spin doubles. A lot of them are considered very risky to go for in the mid game because, I mean, you're never going to get three T-pieces close to each other mm -hmm. <laughs> just because of how seven bag works. Um, so when I think of those, I think of uh, Trinity and uh, King Crimson being the two most popular. But yeah, King Crimson is a TST setup. Oh, and that is a misdrop from Salted. Is a TST setup over an STSD, which is two different acronyms mm -hmm. after each other. There's a lot. It, it all like stacks on top of each other. No pun intended. Ayo. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> it sounded pretty intentional to me. Perfect clear. STSD from RJ here. Uh, Speculosity asking, what decides when player, players get the white pieces put on their screen? The white pieces are what is known as garbage. Uh, and garbage is sent when one player clears more than a single line. Uh, and that sends the white pieces to the other player. That determines uh, the, more pe the more lines that a player clears, the more lines get sent to the other side. Right, and that is the fundamentals of what we call versus Tetris. Versus Tetris means that you're not necessarily just, well, you're not actually competing at all in score. 
you're competing in not topping out. So a Tetris sends four lines to the bottom of your opponent's board. A triple sends two. And a double sends one. A T-spin double sends the same as a Tetris. A T-spin single sends the same as a triple. There's such a thing called back-to-back -back Tetris. There's T-spin triples. It can get complicated. But um, yeah, that, that's the foundation of how versus Tetris works. So yeah, it, it isn't exactly as many lines cleared go to the other side. Yeah. Uh, it's generally slightly less, but you get bonuses for uh, if you are clearing lines with every piece that you drop, that's called combo or ren, as apparently yeah, in the you're scene. Yeah, you learning. Uh, and that adds, uh, when you have a three combo going, that adds one additional piece of garbage. When you have seven, I think it's two. The combo tables are different game to game. That is a very nice execution on the first T-spin of an STSD from Salted there, but that was more so just um, <laughs> style points. <laughs> But, but yeah, combo tables are different. Um, different modern Tetris games have um, different ways that back-to-back -back is used in touch real back-to-back stacks, which is like, don't get me started. Um, Salted clear. finds the perfect clear there on the MS2. What, what does a perfect clear send in terms of garbage? 10. 10 lines. Uh, speaking of perfect clears. Oh, Salted smacking down two PCs back in a row. Yes, and one of the one of the more interesting parts of modern Tetris is that there is a ton of theory on looping PCs, <laughs> mm. <laughs> and there are different ways you can set up a PC depending on which bag you're in in the sequence, and there are people who can just loop that endlessly, and they terrify me. Those people scare me. Yeah, which is you know part of why it's important to end up you know getting aggressive and throwing garbage onto somebody's board first. If only to avoid getting trapped in one of those. Oh, yeah. Um, that is one of the benefits of slow, quote-unquote, slow Tetris, where there is a line clear delay. It is more, it is easier to not get trapped in a PC loop. Yeah. And, and uh, again, for those uh, who missed the discussion earlier, slow Tetris is where there is a period of where the line clear is happening during which you can't play. And that's most of... Uh, the Tetris variant, the, the official Tetris variants that are out there. All the official Tetris variants are slow, right? Fun fact, mm -hmm. in the zone in TEC, there's no line clear delay. Okay, so the, so in in zone, it's fast Tetris. Technically, yeah. Technically speaking, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that's the only s like space within uh, guideline Tetris where there is the option for no line clear delay, but. Line clear delay is pretty standard. You'd be surprised how much of a different it make, difference it makes when it comes to these players' ability to plan out their moves, look at the queue, plan things out in advance. You are actually thinking so much during that line clear delay, even if it seems very short. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, when we talk about the queue, we're looking at the next five pieces available uh, above the boards, as you can see on both sides uh, in uh, classic Tetris, you have one next piece preview. In Connected, it varies, but I think the standard is four. Um, if you're talking about TEC, yes. the standard is four. Connected is a subset of TEC, and that's one, technically. Right. Yes, Connected is it, right. But, but TEC's yeah. uh, zone battle standard is four piece yes. previews. Yes, uh, and score attack. Yeah. And score attack, yeah. yes. Uh, whereas in Classic, you only get one piece one. to look ahead. Uh, so... You know, the, 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 the old joke was like, when, when you're seeing a Tetris in classic, like, you can breathe, you can, you know, brush your hair out of your face. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, in modern, when you actually have a five-piece cue, uh, that's like a moment when you aren't actually placing pieces yes. to develop uh, a multi-piece strategy. Yes. And uh, these players are actually looking at all five, if you're curious. They are actually planning their moves out five in advance just because of how used to these sequences they are, and um, they're good at understanding what kind of pieces they need to make a certain attack and can see whether or not those pieces are available. It's it's a, a, a different, but, you know, no certainly no less impressive skill set than, you know, memorizing, like, you know, the the multitude of possible two-piece adjustments that are possible in a classic game mm -hmm. uh, where, you know, you can try and plan for, you know, 
you, you only see one piece ahead, but there, there are some high-level classic players that are planning like, okay, I know the next one, but based on these three possibilities for the next one after that, here's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But when you have a five-piece preview, it's possible to think much further ahead. Right, and you can even kind of extend past those five. Um, so, I mean, yeah, the randomizer for modern Tetris, it's called seven back. So your first, there's seven pieces, unique pieces. So your first seven pieces are guaranteed to be one of each, and then your next seven are also guaranteed to be one of each, and that repeats throughout the entire game. Um, and so if you think, okay, oh, salted missed drop, that was going for a, a TSD setup. There is a sense of card counting mm -hmm. of if, in, in Classic, um, it's, it's a logical fallacy of, oh, I haven't seen this piece in a while, therefore it's coming soon. That is just straight up a logical fallacy in Classic. In Modern, that is guaranteed. If you haven't seen a piece recently, you're going to see it soon. So, I mean, that's where, for me, the, the biggest difference in mindsets between the two games is Insulted misdropped a piece um, and was forced to take some unfortunate board situations. That's another misdrop. Uh, RJ has a chance to press press momentum and knock him out if he can combo this down. Oof. Yeah, and that mess drop is going to be it for the round. Can't fight the Ren. True. But yeah, uh, you may hear the term drought thrown around in classic Tetris matches. That is a period of time longer than 13 pieces. Uh, between long bars, which is what you need, and really the only way in classic Tetris to maximize your score. Uh, modern Tetris, you have a lot more options to maximize, including the T-spin, which gets you as much garbage, and I think score as a Tetris, yes. only using two lines exactly. uh, rather than four. And that's where the, the conversation around efficiency comes from, mm -hmm. is um, sometimes we actually full on calculate efficiency as attack per piece, mm. um, where T-spins have the exact same attack as the Tetris, but half of the pieces, so therefore two times the attack per piece, but that's getting very technical. <laughs> Uh, RJ up seven to three at this point. Really strong play. Uh, but anyways, uh, about about droughts, that that just does not happen yeah, we in don't modern get that. Tetris. And it's very nice. S seven bag completely takes that level of randomness uh, out of the game. And then, you know, whereas in classic Tetris, your board, uh, if you're trying to optimize piece accommodation there's certain ways you design your board to accept any potential piece, but when A, you know the next five that are coming, and B, you know that any given piece is no more than seven pieces away, uh, you don't have to make the same kinds of accommodation decisions. Right, and you can argue that the you know, randomization of classic Tetris is what makes it interesting. And although I agree, I think that seven bag is what makes modern interesting. I think that both um, sets or like standards for randomization create interesting situations when it comes to gameplay. Both are vital to the competition of their respective. So, Salt has really got to go on a tear. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not saying he can't, but he, he, he has to. Yeah, oh, for sure. I mean, again, uh, comfortable being aggressive at the top of the board is what we see here from Salted. I mean, th there's, a, there's there's plenty that are uh, uh, now it's RJ's turn to be a little on the defensive, but mm. really keeping it down below that that 50% mark. Um, Salted survival just on display in full effect. Ooh, and that S misdrop is not good for Salted here. RJ is finding a Tetris, and that is going to be it for Salted right there. Yeah, that S misdrop is unfortunate. Outstanding. Bringing RJ one match or one round away from match point. Mm -hmm. Eight to three, RJ Both going about to put it away. Yeah. Ooh, as a PC on the TKI there, and that is rough. That is rough on Salted's board. Fortunately, Salted was building in such a way that that garbage was uh, complimentary, so it was not an immediate death sentence. Simul Tetris. 
Ooh, that Zemus drop is unfortunate on Salted side. Oh, oh yeah, that's gonna it's gonna take a minute to dig. RJ keeping the pressure on. He's finding some very nice efficiency on his way out there with some nice T-spins. Strong combos coming from RJ. Ooh, that is uh, either a miss uh, read or a miss drop from Salted there. Very nice T-spin forecast. And RJ is finding himself pretty high up on the board. El Tense redeemed Quad Station 1. Is that that's something we have to do what on... What does that uh, mean? I don't know. It's something somebody did with channel points. Yeah. Guys, what does it mean? House of 3000. Does, does that mean anything? What's up? Somebody redeemed Quad Station 1 in the chat. Oh, no. That doesn't apply for, for this event. All right. Well, but you thank know... Thank you for the dev bucks. TST, coming from Salted. RJ, ooh, uh, looks like some really elegant combos lined up available. That's uh, that's an STSD, the little box that results in two T-spin doubles. Super T-spin double, STSD. It's a slightly unfortunate uh, name, it's a little cursed, but um, that is, yeah, the accepted name. STSD, Yep. got it. So many names, so much terminology. So many names and so many acronyms that are so close so, to other acronyms yes, that are exactly. less fortunate. Exactly. All right. Sultan has some mist drops here. Yeah, ooh, ooh, finds a way out, finds a way out for now, and yeah, ooh. that is going to be the round. And that is going to be RJ on match point here. Salty is going to have to plot a very large comeback here if he wants to win this, but RJ is a very commanding lead. Uh, I say that as he missed drops his TKI. La la la. Thank you so much, Harvey. And... Ooh, Mr. Up from RJ on that O piece is going to slow him down a little bit, but he is at the bottom of his board. He uses that Mr. Up to set up an STSD. Very nice find in there. It's interesting the, the choices that players have to make in terms of uh, do they clear, do, do they clear, do they downstack, or do they leave stuff that you can build into uh, combos and uh, future future doubles and such. Yeah, uh, and speaking personally, that decision mm -hmm. depends on how you're feeling that day, how you're feeling that minute. Maybe in one situation, you'll say, okay, I want to downstack this. And in the exact same situation somewhere else, you're like, nope, it's time to upstack. It's, it's very... A little bit of a spire developed on RJ's yeah, board here. Bit. Really got to Greening a bit out. for an STSD setup did not find either T-spin double. Found a, a single in one of them. And really needs to just, you know, really banking on combo strength to come out of this. And Salted is finding that creativity in the stack, finding those T-spins, understands the objective right now is to be aggressive. Yep, and uh, aggresses away. So, uh, I mean, in the tennis world, uh, you know, f f four match points or five match points. <laughs> Still match point for RJ. Mm -hmm.
lot of garbage to deal with, but can be taken down quickly. Can Salted get be, be taken down quickly as it is bored? Really efficiently dealing with garbage. I believe it's just been Tetris's and TSD's on RJ's side for a while. Yeah, Salted did a bit of a misdrop. Found a way out of it pretty well, but Ooh. yeah, is stuck at the top of his board. That was a misdrop on the O piece. And, and that is your loser's finals. Back to back. Yeah, like we said, this matchup is very common here, and I think both players, again, are very comfortable playing against each other. And so that that's definitely Tetris, T-Spin double, back to back Tetris. Four. Just a lot of attack being thrown around Five, by RJ right here. Five, six, yeah. six back to back. Very strong. I don't know the combo tables, but I know that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're lucky that back to back does not stack in a uh, normal guideline. So, whereas uh, a normal Tetris will send four lines, a back to back T spin or Tetris will send five, and you'll never see a situation in which something will send six. Uh, unless we're talking T spin triples, but that's a different story. Uh, well, back to back, uh, right. So, Back-to-back -back doesn't stack. Combos do stack on top of Combo the back-to-back. Yeah, yeah. It, they 